Gallery 2 at the VG&M was formerly used as the ladies' common room and this was a communal space where women who studied at the university would be able to come together to socialise and to read. This room is particularly beautiful and it boasts really high ceilings and large windows and a lot of these windows have still retained their original pastel colouring. If you take a look on the VG&M website you'll be able to see a 360 video of this room and if you take a look up to the ceiling you'll be able to see that it's sloped and this was designed to fit the seating area for the Legate Lecture Theatre which is directly above and it was designed so it didn't encroach on the space too much in the women's common room. In fact so much care was put into the design of this room that despite the inequalities between men and women of this era, the women's common room was the same size as the men's. The focal point of this room is the Art Nouveau style walnut fireplace and it was designed by our student Eleanor Gordon who studied with us between the years 1884 to 1888. The design itself is inspired by the tree of life and the tree of knowledge and it features many natural aspects such as plants, leaves and animals. Fireplaces during the Victorian era weren't just functional pieces of furniture, they were also quite fashionable and this one is no exception. If you look at the fireplace you'll be able to see an expertly carved peacock which is a Christian symbol of immortality. More inspiration taken from Christianity can be seen in the Latin inscription on the fireplace which translates as whatever is true, pure and lovely. The space is now used for exhibitions and it's currently hosting an exhibition called The Errant Muse. This exhibition is a collaboration between artist Charlotte Hodes and poet Derren Rees Jones. And the exhibition itself is in part inspired by the history of the women's common room and the fireplace. When the building first opened, the female students who were going to occupy this space were able to furnish it themselves and make it feel a little bit more like home. In the autumn term of 1893, the students brought in a number of items and some of these items included a tea server set, a rug, palms, easy chairs and Japanese embroidered screens. In Charlotte Hode's paper cut, you see a female figure as she moves across the space through the domestic furniture, exploring it and trying to find a space for herself within it. If you take a look at the VGM YouTube channel, you'll be able to see their collaborative film Fires. And this film uses animation and poetry to echo the themes of the fireplace in Gallery 2.